For those who don't know, I'm Courtney Hendrickson, Assistant Town Manager, and I really wanted to take this brief ceremony just to thank everyone who had a part in these beautiful planter boxes. So that's why we're here today. So thank you so much for coming. And I do want to formally thank several people briefly, and then I'm going to hand it over to Tim Norris, the brains of the operation here. So um, I will start with Frank Galuni and his team at his Nuntuck. They are a big partner with us around this pond with the improvements that we're doing, and we really do appreciate all the work that you and your staff and your students are doing with us, and we'll talk a little bit more about that. We want to thank, thank you. We want to thank Mark Gar and the Buildings and Grounds guys for all the hard work of actually putting the boxes together and planting them into such a beautiful way for this fall. Thank you guys so much. And I want to thank our town council for their ongoing support for all of the improvements here in Thompsonville. And also want to do a special thank you to Derek Kennedy, our assistant town manager, who has spearheaded much of our physical infrastructure improvements around the pond and in Thompsonville this past year. He couldn't be here today, but we he deserves a round of applause as well. So I'm going to hand it over to Tim Norris. He's the chair of our beautification committee, and they have been instrumental in putting this work together. Thank you, Tim. Thank you. You guys are going to have to indulge me. I wrote it down because I didn't want to forget anything. So good morning, and thank you for coming to today's dedication ceremony. Today's ceremony marks the end of a project that began last winter. Last winter, Peter Branton came before the beautification committee with a wonderful plan to not only beautify Freshwater Pond, but to also give the area residents privacy for their yards. As you can see, the planters that Peter designed accomplished both of those goals. Enfield's Beautification Committee approved the funding for Peter's idea. We can't be any happier with how the planters turned out. Thank you, Peter, for, your oppor for the opportunity to work with you, and we all hope that our partnership will continue. Um, after the Beautification Committee approved the funding for the planters, we began discussing the plaques that would be attached to them. After some discussion, I went to Chris Foster, an instructor, he's not here unfortunately, uh, at his Nuntuck Community College. After some brainstorming, Chris and I came up with a design that we felt the committee would approve. The committee did love the design, as you can see. <laughs> Uh, we then went to Frank Aluni, the director of ACC Manufacturing, to present our drawing. Frank loved the idea, and more so he loved the idea of partnering with the town of Enfield in an effort to help beautify it. Frank graciously donated the material for the plaques and the use of ACC's manufacturing equipment. So thank you very much, Frank. And thank you to Chris, who's not here, but... Yes. <laughs> I want to personally thank Chris and Frank for their help and the manufacturing program's continued efforts in conjunction with Enfield's efforts to clean, modernize, and beautify Enfield. This partnership is beneficial to both Enfield and to Esnantuck. We at the Beautification Committee want to thank the town manager's office for their help with this project, especially Courtney Hendrickson's efforts. I don't know where you went. Oh, <laughs> put the glasses on. <laughs> uh, we want to thank the town council for their guidance and for their funding of the committee. I have to thank my fellow committee members, uh, Vice Chairwoman Kristen Leahy, who's not here, she's a teacher, she's going to, uh, our Secretary Liz Boulay, our members, Roberta Ladd, if you could just raise your hands, so, um, Stacy Hoyt, uh, Kristen Meal, Diane Tapp, uh, Al Alexandra Berzuto, Alexis Alvarado, and last but not least, Ginny Higley, where is she hiding? <laughs> Hi, Ginny. Ginny has been amazing to work with and has been a great liaison between the committee and the town. Enfield's future is a bright one. I know that change takes time. Personally, I've been a part of this area since I was a child. My parents used to take me for walks, uh, telling me stories about the pond, about skating. Um, they showed me where my ancestors used to work and live right in this area. Uh, I can't help but smile every time I am in this area. Knowing personally all the hard work town employees and volunteers are doing to revive Thompsonville 
fills me full of hope. There are a lot of projects in the works for this area. I can't say this enough. It is a truly exciting to be a resident of Enfield at this time. It is an honor to be even a small part of what the future of Thompsonville and Enfield will be. And thank you everybody for all your hard work. Thank you. That's it. I'd like to turn it over to Frank. Yes. <laughs> if you don't mind. Am I going to sing, dance? Yeah. Uh, this little show. Well, thank you, Tim. Thank you, Courtney, for inviting us uh, for this grand occasion. You know, as Nuntuck Community College is really kind of a sleeping giant in our community, and Eileen is here also. Uh, Eileen is our Dean of uh, Continuing Education. She does a phenomenal job, uh, you know, both technology-wise and avocationally. Just wonderful, wonderful programs that have been introduced since uh, she's been on the job. And, and Jim Lumbella, her predecessor, really kind of started the whole process. Jim is now the president of the college, but truthfully, and, and, and realistically, we, re, we, we, we sincerely want to have a partnership with the community of Enfield. One of the things we've tried for years and years to do is to develop a, a meaningful partnership with the school system. Finally, we have a new superintendent with whom we really have tremendous camaraderie. We have this year 753 kids, 6th, 7th, and 8th graders, that are involved in advanced manufacturing at their school. We bought all of the 3D printers that produce this kind of thing. We bought CNC machines, and we are going to make a long-term commitment to not only 753, but hopefully thousands of young people in Enfield, introducing them to advanced manufacturing so that when they become juniors in high school, they can choose to be in an advanced manufacturing associate degree program starting in their junior year, getting college credit in their junior and senior years so that when they transition to as Nuntuck as a full-time student, they will finish, they will have only one year left of a two-year associate degree program in advanced manufacturing, whether welding and fabrication, machine technology, CNC machining, electronics, electromechanical, alternative energy. We will by that time be into nanotechnology and medical devices. So, I mean, it's just a, an amazing world that needs really talented young people. And the future of Connecticut truly is rosy from the standpoint of economic development if we can get a pipeline started with young people involved in advanced manufacturing. We just finished a $3 million welding and fabrication facility at the college. We are beginning in October, at the end of October a $25 million expansion of the machine technology program. We will have 50,000 square feet. 50,000 square feet of advanced manufacturing technology space. We will be able to accommodate 650 young people and adults on a daily basis. 90% of those people go into the labor force immediately upon graduation at $40 to $50,000 a year, and the future is just tremendous for them. They also have 34 college credits when they leave us in this certificate program. Tim is a student in the program and can speak very, very well to the fact that so, but, but one of the things we want to do is we want to do more for Enfield. Uh, we want to do the trash, the, the decorative trash containers. Uh, we have this fabulous fabrication capability, a wonderful welding uh, ability, 3D printing, uh, which we're going to advance and enhance uh, over the next year or two or three so that we can do these kinds of things only five, six, seven times the size of it, both in metal and plastic eventually. Uh, so the more uh, we can do with Enfield, I think it just crystallizes the, 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 the admiration, uh, the, the, the participatory kind of process that we want to be involved in with the town of Enfield. So I thank you very much for inviting us to participate today. Thank you. Next victim, is there another victim here? Courtney? Thank you again, Frank. Thank you, Tim and your team. Mark, you guys, all your whole team. This is just awesome, and we know how much work goes into it. We really do appreciate it. We appreciate all of you so much for coming out. And I think Tim is going to do some actual putting the plaques on now, so we can follow along with that. Thank you all for coming so much. Thank you, everybody. That's it? Are we good? Yes, and thank you for coming. I'm going to end up freezing here.